Hello, gente! What's up? And welcome back to my channel! Yes, guys, I am back to being a redhead. I know. I was gonna do my makeup, but I'm having a lot of allergic reaction, but anyways, this is not what we're here for. For today's video, we're going to really dive into the new Too Faced Cinnamon Roll Limited Edition Sweet and Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dissect this. Is this the same as the pumpkin spice? The salted caramel? Or even peanut butter and jelly? If you guys wanna find out if they're the same, just definitely keep on watching. Alrighty guys, now we're up in personal I guys. I gotta say guys, I am feeling myself like I love this hair color. Like this is so me. I know my eyebrows look mad dark, but don't worry. I'll have that cover tomorrow when I go to work. My makeup is gonna look a lot fierce. But anyways guys, I'm so excited. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Getsemane, but everybody calls me Gigi for short. So I finally got the Too Faced Cinnamon Sorrel Palette. And of course, guys, Too Faced and the packaging, this looks amazing. When you open it up, which I already did, you know, simple, blah, you know. And in the back, they have all the colors, which here it is the palette. Here's the palette in all its glory, you know, with the cinnamon swirl, the detail, when you open her up. Mine did come a little damaged because my FedEx person left it and yesterday was rainy and I didn't get home until pretty late. So it got a little wet. So it's kind of a little bit damaged if you guys can see right here. It's just kind of like sticking up, but whatever. <laughs> and here we go. Here is the palette in all its glory. And it does have like that cinnamon scent which I actually love cinnamon. Like I love to add the cinnamon powder, especially in my cappuccino. It's everything. But anyways, guys, when I got this palette, I just looked at it and I'm like, shit, this shit looks exactly like the pumpkin. And unfortunately, I don't have the gingerbread, the first two palettes. I, had, I did purchase the second one, but when I swatched it, see, that was my novice back days when I swatched it it looked terrible so my dumbass didn't give it like a second chance because when I swatched I was like oh my god this is horrible this swatch is like this imagine only an eye so I returned it which I regretted because I wish I would have kept it so like that I could have done more of a detailed comparison but we're going to be comparing these two I'm going to be sh showing you guys swatches in a few minutes of these shadows i'll be swatching every like the first roll of the cinnamon um the cinnamon bun and then the pumpkin the cinnamon swirl i said the cinnamon bun cinnamon swirl and when you look at them like this guys they really 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 they do look alike it's just that the pumpkin one has more rock the pumpkin one has a little bit more of like orangey tones if you can see a little bit of orangey tones but like the similarities that they both have is the browns and those little purple colors and these little like shimmers they really 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 do look similar so let's go into the swatch right guys so i'm going to show you guys a little clip here um from left to right starting from the top on the first road you can tell that flower powder which is in the cinnamon cinnamon powder cinnamon powder and cinnamon roll palette and whipped cream from the pumpkin spice they look a little bit different they're really really close but not so much the same and when you look at the first roll the cinnamon roll seems more more kind of a neutral tone with a little bit of shimmer and like a little bit of peach versus the pumpkin spice it does have more of like orangey tones like more of a 
orange tone browns if I make any sense and then when you look at the second row again the top the top all the top is the at the top is the cinnamon swirl and at the bottom is the pumpkin again the pump cinnamon swirl has more it's just really more of your full like brown tones with the purple like that little um like burnt orange that you can say you want to call it like not burnt orange it's like that copper like my hair <laughs> and versus the other one versus the pumpkin spice you see a little bit more of a little bit of greens in it of course fall vibes just like the first shade is called fall vibes you see a little bit more fallish a little bit more like a burgundy tones and on the last row of the cinnamon swirl which is coming up it's more of like it has more of the purple it's just like like on the last row of the pumpkin spice they seem so similar but the colors are so different but when you swatch them row by row they may all seem similar now i'm gonna swatch some of these for you guys that i thought i mean when i swatched them like that from top to bottom they didn't seem like oh they don't look that similar but when you look close up really really close up i think i want to whoa i think i want to swatch let me see dun, 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 dun. who looks similar hmm. we're gonna swatch see me rolling which is from the cinnamon twirl right over here i'm gonna swatch this one you see me rolling we're gonna swatch it right over here that's you see me rolling very pigmented very beautiful it's very very creamy and then we're gonna get spice spice baby from the pumpkin spice we're gonna swatch that one oh they're so creamy and bada beam bada boom boom so so wow this shit looks wow you see these two are like boom exact match so i don't know if they like in the palette they don't seem so well they kind of do see me rolling and love you what is it spice spice baby is right over here so so similar let me pick another one let me show you guys what i'm talking about now let's watch flower powder for better close up so you guys can see i am tweaking flower powder right over here it's very very light and we're gonna do whipped cream from pumpkin spice so similar boom i don't know when i first watched it they didn't seem so similar but they are similar holy shit wow now i want to take another one because another one seems so similar oh i want to take oh my god from pumpkin spice which is oh is, oh my god oh my gourd oh my gourd which is this color right over here it's like very beautiful shimmer pink we're gonna swatch it right here there you go it's really beautiful and we're gonna swatch sticky fingers from the cinnamon swirl you got sticky fingers kind of close to close but not a little bit sticky finger seems a little bit more purple like more has a little bit of a hint of purple versus the other one has a little bit more pink oh my god i've been wanting to swatch these two together what is it want a piece of me and stay no that doesn't look so similar let me see oh, okay we're gonna do batter up from this one from the cinnamon the cinnamon palette i use my pinky i'm gonna do a pinky swatch yes i am and then we're gonna take cocoa drizzle from the pumpkin spice one. Oh, these feel so freaking buttery jeez and we're gonna put it right over here boom like wow wow so those to me are like, what? why am I dropping stuff today? 
So those to me are like very, very close. Now, I saw something that really bugged me out. I pulled the peanut butter and jelly one because this is like an old one, an oldie, but a good one. And I want you guys to take a look at this. You guys see the last row? You guys see this right over here? Blame, bam. Now, you see this one? I'm toasty. I wanna swatch I'm toasty. I'm gonna swatch it right over here. I'm toasty, which is from the cinnamon swirl. And I am gonna swatch pe peanut brittle from the peanut butter and jelly. I feel like they be recycling their shit. Like, <laughs> oh, OMG. I just want to see if they're the same. What? Do you guys see this? Do you see this? Wow. This is a little bit more like burnt than this one, but brown. What? Wow. Okay. We're going to swatch Food Court from Cinnamon Swirl. Yo, this swatch, if this is the same shit, I'm going to cry. There goes that. We're going to take Jelly from the Peanut Butter and Jelly palette. No way. There's no way. Excuse me? <laughs> Yo, this is sick. We're going to take the Peanut Butter. No, we're going to take... Stay current. Stay, stay cu current, right? From right over here. Yeah, we're gonna do stay current. I didn't need to flick you guys. I'm gonna put it right here. That's cinnamon swirl, right? Now we're gonna go to the peanut butter and jelly and we're gonna go into jamming, which is a little purple tone. Ready? You're not gonna tell me this are not the same. Maybe just a little bit reformulated. Bruh. You're gonna tell me that these right over here, this over here is this. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I think I wore, okay. Okay, I'm gonna swatch Nuts About You. Remember we swatched See Me Rolling here? See Me Rolling was this one, and then this one from the Pumpkin Spice was Spice, Spice, Spice Baby. Look at this. See Me Rolling from the... Hold on. We gotta do it justice, hold on. It's a little bit, a little bit off, but, bro. Oh, I need to do that. This one. Did I do stay current already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, peanut butter cup. This is peanut butter cup from the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jelly sandwich. And now we're gonna swatch from the cinnamon. We're gonna do sweet spice. Okay, it's a little off. Okay, okay. That's a little off. Wait, wait, no. Oh, we could do frost, frost those buns. Frost those buns. I think this one matches better. I kind of, a little bit. Now. This and this palette, the peanut butter, if you have the peanut butter and jelly palette, you'll have legit guys, legit. I'm not even kidding. You guys see these swatches? I'm not joking. This shit is exactly the same shit. Like, wow. Wow. Let's get into the salted caramel palette. Boom. Oh my God. I'm just dropping shit today. <sighs> Here we go. Whoa. Do we see any similarities? A little bit. 
it's just the colors it's really the colors let me see i think i see more similarities a little bit here with the pumpkin spice yeah guys i feel like honestly if you get this i feel that you can pull a look if you have the peanut butter whoa where is it if you have the peanut butter and jelly from Too Faced this palette right here or you have the pumpkin you really do not need this one the cinnamon roll I'm, I kid you not you really don't because legit all of these we can find here we can find exactly the same dupes as I show you almost like what well how many was this one two three like four of these colors from this palette and then if you have this one right over here we made swatches and that's what one two kind of three four ish that's eight colors combined together from these two to get colors from this palette like holy shit like are you kidding me like what like do you see this do you see this do you wow and honestly, I the only reason why I got this is because of the collector in me. The collector in me, and you guys know, this is to me is like the kickoff of fall. It's like when the pumpkin spice comes back to Starbucks. It's like, whoa, fall is here. Like, hello, look at my hair. My hair is freaking red orange, like a burgundy. No, not burgundy. It's like a red orange. Like, hello, hello. So this for me, honestly, if I wasn't a collector, I would have never picked it up. It's just like, okay, another palette, whatever. Now, oh Lord, Too Faced, you guys just recycle. I wish it would have been a little bit different, but at the, at the same time, when you think of cinnamon swirl, when you look at the bun, these are the colors that you really think of. But then again, with the pumpkin spice latte, I don't know. I don't know. Now, they also release uh they're a little cutesy melt what is it metal matte from Too Faced <laughs> and this is the cinnamon bun cute packaging I got it so I'm gonna swatch the difference I do have the the lady what is this gingerbread girl I don't have gingerbread boy because clearly I didn't have that one so I'm gonna do the swatches here and they smell delicious to this day these these smell amazing so gingerbread girl most delicious i want now i want one Oof, i am obsessed with this color i wish i would never run out i need to go to tj maxx or nordstrom to see if i can find this the pumpkin one right over here at least i can appreciate that these are very different from one another because if these would have looked the same then i would have been very upset I'm not gonna lie i would have been very very upset and this is the new one cinnamon bun which is a little bit more nude like a little bit pinkish nude yeah it's a little bit more in like like mauve-ish yeah it's more of a mauve tone just right here you can clearly see the difference so for me these i will get this one i would definitely get this one even the collector in me but they're all all different it's not like i'm getting the same like the design may be the same like the packaging at the top they may i think they have like the same burnt orange like the background it may be the same but at least the colors are very different so these to me are very worth it i really do enjoy this formula but like i said guys if you're a collector of Too Faced and you love their packaging and you love the smell of cinnamon like i do and i'm a collector then you can get this but honestly if you have like i said this old one and then this the pumpkin spice from last year you really really don't need this like you can save your ass some money like letting you know for 49 dollars you have these two you could just miss it or wait for it to go on sale for 25 because at the end it always do they always go on sale but that pretty much wraps up wraps up this um review slash swatches my thoughts i hope you guys like how i compare majority of the shadows I hope you guys like my new look and yeah guys that's pretty much it i just want to say guys i hope everybody is staying safe <sighs> the storm was crazy i know i owe you guys to get ready with me which will be coming soon because i have a lot of new products that i want to try out with you guys 
and yeah uh, stay safe i love you guys very very much thank you guys so much for clicking <laughs> clicking but stay safe i gotta go bye